me show you what I mean. I'm going to go down here to Photoshop and open that up. We're going to work with this particular file in After Effects. And if you take a look over to the right here, you see there are four layers. Let me show you the process that I took to make this. I'm going to go down here and close these down. I started with this photograph. Then I used masks to lift the women from the background. I'll show you that by clicking over here. I used this mask to isolate her. And I used the other mask there to isolate her. I'll show you both of them. Then I needed to fix the background. Now the background started like this. And so when I lift them out of the background, I've got these big holes here. So then I use what's called Content Aware Fill to fill in those spaces there here inside Photoshop. So what's good about working with Photoshop files with layers inside After Effects is that you can bring these files in and keep photographs typically. Illustrator is different. It works with vector files, files that are defined mathematically. Let's take a look at that. Here's the Illustrator file we'll work with in this course. And it has layers as well. You click on this to see the layers. These are the various objects there in the scene, the bird wing, the bird body, camper, trees, tent, ground, the sun, and the sky. And again, when you bring this Illustrator file into After Effects, you have the option of making all these layers intact. But that's very important because you might want to, let's say, take a camera and run it to the scene here past all those trees. Or you might want to have more trees, or more campers, or more tents, or more birds. And you can animate these things too, so the bird can fly across the scene, something like that. So it's great that you can keep these layers intact when you bring this Illustrator file into After Effects. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so I'm going to start up After Effects by double clicking here. I can start importing those two file types right here in the module. So there are a couple of ways to do that. I'm going to go to File. And I can say Open Project and track down that file by going to the Course Files folder that I made and double clicking on this. Or since I worked on this recently, I can go to File, Open Recent and find it that way. And here's the list of the recent files that I've worked on. I'll click on that. And now we have this empty container that we worked on before. If you brought in all those assets from the previous lesson and saved the project, then you're going to see all those assets here. But I didn't save that project, so I'm starting with an empty container here. Now to bring in a Photoshop or an Illustrator file, just double click here again to open up the Import File dialog box. And you can see that there's an AI file, that's Illustrator. And you see a bunch of PSD files. And I get this one here, Two Women and Background. That's the one we worked on before. When you select the Photoshop file, the Import File dialog box notes that it's a Photoshop file and then gives you some options to import it as something. Import it as footage, a composition where you retain layer sizes, or a composition. Now you almost always want to bring it in as a composition because if you bring it in as footage, it won't have any layers. It's sure that you can take a static layer style from Photoshop and animate that layer style inside After Effects. So you almost always want to choose editable layer styles. So basically my recommendation to you when you bring in Photoshop file is to always choose composition retain layer sizes and always choose editable layer styles and then click OK. And that brings in all those layers down here as separate assets. You can see the background that I made, you can see the original image file and then two women like that. And you also have a comp here and the comp will be the size of the image file which is really larger, much larger than HD. So frequently you don't use the comp, you make a new comp and then drop these layers into the new comp. But that's fine, it's nice to have this here. All right, let's bring in that Illustrator file. Just double click here again to bring in the Illustrator file. I'll click on it again, and you get the same basic options down here. The Import File dialog box recognizes this as an Illustrator file, and it gives you the same choice as you had with the Photoshop file. Now my thinking is just choose, and then you have the comp that was made in the original size of that Illustrator file, which is a little bit taller than HD, but not quite as wide as HD. So that's how you import these two layered files, Photoshop files and Illustrator files.
And then you have the comp that was made in the original size of that Illustrator file, which is a little bit taller than HD, but not quite as wide. Taller than HD, but not quite as wide as HD. So that's how you import these two layered files, Photoshop files and Illustrator files. Photoshop files and Illustrator files.